Hi guys, it's Grace with Grace Gets Gastric and I am here today for my monthly favorites video for November 2019. So if that's something you're interested in, keep watching. Uh, I am as always going to show you five sort of food related items and five non-food related items. So to start us off with food, I will start with the one item I do not have with me and it is a recipe. Um, I'll try to put a photo here. It is the braised Brussels sprouts with bacon. Uh, this is one of my favorite side dishes. It has been for a really long time, and it is a classic staple for me uh, and my family in thanks during Thanksgiving. Uh, particularly when I'm with my mom for Thanksgiving, both of us really enjoy Brussels sprouts. And so uh, I found this recipe years ago, and it is pretty easy to make. I mean, it's got some ingredients and some steps, but it is so good. And even non-Brussels sprouts lovers that find it edible. They might not like love it the way that I do uh, because I do like Brussels sprouts just normally, but it tends to be a good gateway Brussels sprouts recipe in my opinion. So I'll go ahead and link the recipe below. It is really easy, really tasty. It's a great side dish um, and it's pretty macro friendly for us weight loss surgery patients. It's got, um, you know, carbs from the vegetables, but there's no additional carbs and uh, it's got some bacon in there. So it's really good. Next up, we will go to a less macro-friendly item, uh, but I just, I had to include it, and that is eggnog. So I was really excited. I, at the grocery store, I saw this sort of, I mean, single serving, it's 14 ounces of eggnog. So normally you have to get them in like the gallon or the half gallon, and that is just far too much eggnog for somebody like me to be consuming over the course of a holiday season. Um, Plus, you know, it goes bad. So I was really excited to see this because it is a much smaller size, a lot more easier in terms of portion control. And uh, I really just have a little bit of it at a time. I will generally cut this with non-fat Fairlife milk or with almond milk or with a protein shake and add it to coffee. Um, I really am a sucker for those eggnog lattes at Starbucks, but of course, those are not great for your wallet or your stats. <laughs> so um, I... This is not something I drink very often or all year round by any means, but it is one of my favorite things about the holidays. I really do love eggnog. And so uh, allowing myself to have a little bit of that this past month has been really fun. Next, we have an item. I don't know if I've talked about this before on my channel, but it is the G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. Uh, my favorite flavor is hickory. And I also have the honey flavor, which I enjoy as well. And, um, for two tablespoons of this barbecue sauce is 10 calories, zero fat, two carb, zero protein. And, um, you know, it's got tomatoes and stuff in here. So that is where like the carbs are coming from. I want to say it uses, yeah, sucralose as its sweetener. And in my opinion, this tastes pretty much just as good as regular barbecue sauce. I mean, I'm sure that I could take a taste a difference if I was eating them side by side, but I don't do that. I just use this. And so when I'm just using this, I don't taste any difference. It doesn't taste weird to me. It's really good. Uh, I get this at Walmart, so it's really easy for me to find. There are some other brands that I've been wanting to try. Um, I think Alterna is the one that I've heard a lot of good things about, but uh, if I have to order it online, the chances of me doing it are just a lot lower. Um, I'm not going to special order barbecue sauce when I've got a really tasty, inexpensive, uh, accessible option really close by. So if you're in the market for a sugar-free barbecue sauce, I really do like that one. Um, and I use it for, you know, if you have chicken tenders, eh, my favorite way really to eat it is with um, the pulled pork from Costco. I get the pre-cooked pulled pork, heat that up with a little bit of barbecue sauce and delicious. Next, we have an item from Trader Joe's and this is the light shredded three blend three cheese blend from Trader Joe's for a quarter cup or an ounce. It is uh, 80 calories, four fat, uh, one carb, eight protein. So um, I would, I think it's maybe about half or three quarters of what a regular full fat uh, cheddar type cheese would be. So it is definitely lower in fat and lower in calories. Uh, it does have a carb probably from the dextrose that is around the cheese. That does not bother me personally. Um, I just don't always have the time. I really never have the time to shred my own cheese. And you don't really tend to find this is like a light three cheese blend. Like you can't get a block of that. But my whole point is that this is the my favorite light cheddar or like, you know, type cheese. It's not, it's, it's a three cheese blend, right? It's mozzarella, Monterey Jack, and cheddar cheese. 
but it, you know, is very similar to like a Mexican blend, a cheese blend. And this is my favorite one that I've ever had. Uh, Trader Joe's also has a Mexican, a light Mexican blend. I don't like that one as much. It is definitely, um, you know, if you had fat-free cheese, it's got like a rubberiness and a kind of blandness to it. The Mexican three cheese, in my opinion, definitely has that. Uh, the Kraft fat-free from Walmart. I mean, those are all edible. I will eat them. They're fine. But this one to me tastes the most like actual, just regular cheese. Uh, and so that's my go-to when I am making anything that requires cheese added into it. So I make a lot of casseroles if you've seen on my channel. So, um, I really like that. It's also, you know, if I'm making, uh, like the egg chalupa or adding cheese to eggs, I just really like it. It's my favorite light cheese blend or light cheese option. So I thought I would mention it. I don't know if I've talked about it before explicitly, so I thought I would. And then last but not least, we have this teriyaki flavored Alaska Smokehouse Salmon, King Salmon Jerky. So for an ounce of this, it's 80 calories, 2.5 fat, 2 carb, 13 protein. So for jerky, those are excellent stats. Um, I try to look for below 7 sugar. So um, for this to have 2 carbs, 2 sugar uh, is amazing. And uh, 13 protein for 80 calories, I will take it. Uh, this is my, the fav my favorite salmon jerky that I have found. So um, I do love me a good jerky. And so I do try to try new ones. Um, I've tried a number of salmon jerkies before, and this is definitely, like I said, my favorite salmon jerky that I have found. So it's really tasty. I've got it at, generally I get it at Bartels. Um, there's a Bartels that's near my work. And so this is the, this is the jerky that I keep at my desk for kind of emergency situations. So I usually, uh, you can see, I just finished it today. Um, I usually just keep a bag of that in my desk. So if there is a time where I'm like really craving something salty or savory, uh, I'll have a little bit of that and that tends to tide it right over for me and keeps me from reaching for the chips that are on the snack table. So let's get to non-food related items. Uh, the first will be this necklace that I'm wearing right here. So this is actually, um, you can see it's kind of like this choker style. It's really easy. I think it just like fits so nicely and looks really pretty. And uh, it's one of the pieces of jewelry that I purchased while I was in Peru. Totally an impulse buy. Uh, I had planned, I always get jewelry when I go traveling, particularly international travel. Uh, I just think it's a really fun uh, memento and souvenir to bring back. But I'd already decided on what I wanted to get and I had just purchased it. And then I saw this at a stall that my roommate was at and fell in love with it. So um, I've been wearing this a lot. I just think it looks really nice. And uh, yeah, definitely a favorite this month and probably forever. Next, we have, sorry, I'm just trying to organize some beauty related items. Shocker, I know. Um, the first is the lipstick that I'm wearing, the liquid lip that I'm wearing right now. I am wearing a gloss over it, but it is the um, Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Mannequin. Uh, and I just think it's a really kind of like nice uh, brown, orangey nude on me. Uh, I've been curious to try his formula for a while, but I am not super wild on buying stuff online that I've not had the chance to try. But they had little mini ones at Ulta because they were selling them in a set. And so I got to try it. I really liked the color on me. I, th I think the formula is super comfortable. Um, but uh, they only were selling them in packs. And then I went online and they were sold out. And I mentioned it to my sister. And it turns out we just opened up uh, at a mall nearby and a Morphe store just opened. And so she found it and she got it for me for my birthday. So um, I really do like the formula a lot. I like the color on me. Um, I don't know that I like this color with this eye look. I was just playing around with it and I wanted to wear it for this video. And then, I, you know, it's a little bit warm compared to the cool tone dyes. But all of that aside, I do like this lip, this liquid lip. And then the next thing I bought is, or I got, is this perfume, which oh, isn't it so beautiful? This is the Lancome, and I want to say it's Idole, Idol, Idol. I don't know how to say things in French, but it is the, the Lancome perfume. I am wearing it now. You can't smell, but God, it smells so freaking good. So if you watched my recent uh, 30 questions tag video, I'll link it above and below if I remember. Um, but one of the questions was, what is your signature scent? And I said that I do not have a signature scent. 
I have a lot of different perfumes that I change based on my mood. And um, I mentioned in that video, I tend to get a new perfume every year and I had not gotten one yet this year. And that uh, video reminded me that uh, it is time for me to get a new perfume. I'm gonna put some more on. Mm. So I was at Ulta and I was smelling their perfumes and this one, I'd never even heard of it before, but it just caught my attention. One thing that's a little bit extra that I do is I tend to, when I get my new perfume every year, I tend to try to vary the brand that I have. So um, I have different, you know, I have one from Dolce & Gabbana. I have one from Chanel. I have one from Burberry. Uh, I have one from Gucci. And I know those names sound really extra, but they're perfumes and I buy one a year um, and they are an indulgence for me. Uh, but I didn't have one from Lancome. So I got that and yeah, I'm obsessed with it. I've been wearing it nonstop since I bought it. And yeah, it's really nice. If you want to go and smell it, go find yourself uh, some Lancome. And uh, yeah. <laughs> and then another sort of beauty related item, sort of workout related item. We'll see how I can stretch this. Is this uh, Tartan and Twine makeup bag. So I got this makeup bag specifically for my gym bag because the one that I was using was just falling apart. And so um, I work out at the gym generally three to four uh, days a week during the work week. And so um, I work out first thing in the morning. I get up at 530. I go work out at the gym and then generally I shower there. I get ready there. I put my makeup on. I put, put all my clothes on, you know, as one does. And I go to work from the gym. So I need to have my little makeup case with me with all of my essentials. So it's this, it's just like a great size. Like it's kind of head size, I would say. So it's not too big, but it, it was able to fit everything. It came with this little, um, smaller one. So this is where I put some of the brushes with me. And then you can see here, oops. Um, I have all of my stuff that I bring with me. So, um, I'm really liking it. I like that it's 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 like kind of a soft touch leather faux leather, leather kind of thing. So it'll be easy to clean because you know makeup cases get makeup on them, and it's gonna be thrown into my gym bag with you know my next to my shampoos and all that stuff. So I like that it's like pretty easy to clean. It's really easy to carry. It's a great size. Uh, just really convenient, and I really like it a lot. So that was that one, two, three, four. Okay, so the last item is actually for sure a workout item. And it is the bare um, barbell squat slash hip thrust pad. So this is a pad and you can see here, it's got a place, this is where you put it on a barbell and it's a squat pad. So when I'm squatting, I, you know, I do back squats. So I have the bar across my shoulders. And so uh, that's totally fine. And I can do it without the pad. But as I start to add more weight, it does get a little bit uncomfortable. And so I really do like this padding a lot. And the reason I actually specifically got it was for when I do hip thrusts. So um, I do hip thrusts that are pretty heavily weighted with a large barbell. Um, and uh, if you don't know what a hip thrust is, look it up. <laughs> but it is um, basically me thrusting a, a barbell with my pelvis to uh, build some of those glutes and the barbell really digs in <laughs> to your pelvis and it's not fun especially with my loose skin uh it was just kind of becoming an issue trying to figure out how to get this barbell like where to put it and like trying to nestle it under my loose skin when it's all compressed down so anyways <laughs> this has become uh, a lifesaver on making me able to enabling me to do those comfortably and safely because um yeah, my gym, at first I thought my gym didn't have any of these and then I bought them and I, then I found where they were keeping them, but they're really not very um, well padded. So it's kind of like, almost just like I'm wrapping a towel around the barbell, which is just not enough, or the, yeah, the bar, or just, just not enough for me. So this is actually really nice. It's like really high quality. It's really well padded. It's super comfortable. Um, and I just, yeah, I use this twice a week at least um, on my leg days. I usually, because I, I do hip thrust twice a week and then I do squats at least once a week. So usually I'm using this at least three for three exercises and I'm definitely getting my use out of it. Anyways, I think that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know uh, if you liked any of these things, if you've used any of these things. Let me know what your guys' favorites are for this month. Um, uh, 
like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate you so much, and I will talk to you all very soon.